Hey everybody, welcome to HasFans Unlimited Gaming. This is Micro Game Reviews, and today we're talking about Mon Yu from Experience Inc. Ready? Go! Mon Yu, or to address it by its official title, <sighs> Mon Yu defeat monsters and gain strong weapons and armor. You may be defeated, but don't give up, become stronger. I believe there will be a day when the heroes defeat the Devil King is a dungeon crawler RPG that includes its game description in its title in a very brave, trailblazing move. <sighs> Mon you defeat monsters and get go that stupid that name no Mon you slams you into first person dungeon crawling after a cutesy opening in a hub world wherein a pig and a queen who just lets anyone into her throne room and assigns the first Tom Dick or Harry to save her kingdom sets you off after seven demons in a dragon shaped dungeon looming over the town the first thing you will get to do is make your party in the tavern the obvious best place to scout for heroes according to D&D DMs the world over where you have six members in your party at the time and can switch them out with other characters in your roster when making characters you have a selection of random sprites some whose art styles look out of place with the others and the classes warrior fight Cleric Mage, Gunslinger Knight, Ninja, and Samurai. One of these things is not like the others. The Pig Innkeeper will thrust 200 gold into your hands, which is goddamn useless in this universe, and send you on your merry way into the Dungeon of Death. You go on until you drop and are automatically sent back to the throne room of the Queen instead of the damn hospital with no negative aspects to my understanding. At least not when playing on normal. The Queen can even round up your experience points earned during the run. In the dungeon, you'll generally take on two lines of three enemies. The battles don't feel particularly hard, but long-winded as you queue up the attacks of up to six characters and then inevitably hit the mode that skips each attack turn playing out and puts the game on turbo. Throughout the dungeon floors, you will encounter some monsters with very simple personalities for the few that do have dialogue. The different navigation styles of each monster in the dungeon is the aspect that stood out most to me. According to the color of the floating skulls representing monsters, the enemies will either hunt you, remain stationary, or flee until you manage to trap them in a corner of the map, hunting or fleeing enemies becoming most of the strategy as you play, die, swap out cackle ninjas for cowboy looking gunslingers, and repeat. Considering all of that and the game's whopping price tag of $49.99, I would rate Mon Yu 3 out of 10. In my opinion, it's not up to standard for the price. If this was a $10 game, I would happily call this a cute, simple little 6 out of 10 game, but unfortunately, a mouthful title does not make up for a lackluster game. But hey, maybe I'm not into the nostalgic element enough for this one to have been for me. Big thanks to Experience Inc. for giving us a copy of this game, and thank you for joining us for this micro game review. Tell us what upcoming games you'd like us to cover in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to let us know you like this episode and want to see more, and we'll see you all next time.